Acts chapter 16. An amazing story happened as we went to prayer that a certain slave girl possessed with a spirit of divination and she brought her masters much profit through fortune telling. Girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, these men are the servants of the most high God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. Nothing wrong in that sentence, but that's not why she said it. She was ridiculing, mocking, and seeking to intimidate them through these declarations. She did this for many days, but Paul being greatly annoyed in the Greek, the words are a little bit more intense. It would be disturbed or agitated turned and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. So what happened? The spirit had to obey him. And the demon came out that very hour. The word for divination is python. Now python is a large snake that kills its prey by ambush. This oppressive spirit was not only controlling this singular woman, but represented the demonic stronghold over the entire city of Philippi. How this spirit afflicts people. Python spirit, divination, squeezes the life, the breath, the joy, the strength, the faith, the vision, hope out of people. How do we defeat the spirit of Python number one? By the mighty name of Jesus. Number two, prayed to pray for people, pray them out of the grip of this strangling python divination spirit, pray them out of the grip of anxiety and fear. Your prayers can save someone's life. Third thing they did was they worshiped, they praised God. The devil can't stop your worship, he can't steal your breakthrough. Worship changes the atmosphere. Worship changes the outcome. Worship changes history. There is no power on the earth more powerful than the power of forgiveness. Forgiveness is the voice of love. I boldly declare over you, my friend, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord of the church, the Lord of heaven and earth, that the Python spirit, the spirit of divination, has no power over your life, and that you are free from its attempt to ambush, suffocate, and devour you, your family, or your future. I rebuke the presence of ungodly pressure, fearfulness, and discouragement, and declare that the wonderful Holy Spirit is restoring your breath, your vision, your strength, your faith, your joy in worship. In Jesus' name.